Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have a probability problem. And suppose that we have a fair coin, which is an unbiased coin, meaning that 50% of the time you'll have a head outcome, and 50% of the time you'll have a tails outcome. And suppose that this fair coin is tossed 20 times. We are looking for the probability of getting exactly 10 tails in these 20 tosses. So, as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to solve this, we can go to the FE handbook. And in the probability and statistics section, we have several different sections. We have a distribution section, which will give us the uh, definition of a binomial distribution, a T distribution, a Gaussian distribution. So the important thing to note about this problem is that we are dealing with a binomial distribution. We have two outcomes, either heads or tails and both heads and tails are equally probable. So the binomial distribution tells us that P of X is given by this equation here, and that is the probability that X successes will occur in N trials. Here, the number of trials is the number of times we flip the coin. So that's gonna be N is equal to 20 for us. We also have that, the, that P is equal to the probability of success, so here, the probability of success is equal to the probability of failure. So the probability of getting tails, which is success, is equal to the probability of getting heads, which is the probability of failure, and they're both equal to 50%. And lastly, x is an integer, and that is the number of successes. So the number of successes for us is going to be x is equal to 10. So we can write this formula in the next page. So here I've rewritten the definition of the binomial distribution. I just substituted 1 minus p in for q. And we can simply just plug in these numbers here and we can get our probability. And so this is going to be n factorial is the number of trials, so that's 20 factorial, divided by the number of successes, which is 10 factorial, n minus x is going to be 20 minus 10 factorial. The probability of success is 50%. Raised to the x, so x is 10. 1 minus 50%, which is the probability of failure. Raised to the n minus x, so it's going to be 20 minus 10. So we can plug that into the calculator, and when we do so, we get 0 0.176. And so that tells us that the probability of getting exactly 10 tails out of 20 tosses is about 17.6%. So we did this out the long way, but I recommend using the Casio FX991EX class whiz calculator. So that calculator is listed in the description below and that calculator has an integrated binomial distribution function where you can just input the values of the number of trials, the number of successes, and the probabilities and it'll calculate all this for you and therefore saving you some time. So I actually have an emulator of that calculator here. So again that's the one linked in the description below. And we're just going to go over this same problem just using this calculator. Um, that way we don't have to do any factorials or anything. We just input three numbers, and that's it. So to solve this problem, we go to Menu. And then if you go down to 7, we have a Distribution section here. We can hit the equal signs to enter. And then Section 4 here, we have a Binomial Distribution. So PD is probability distribution. We click 4, and then click 2 for variable. We input the X, which is the number of successes, which in our case was 10. Hit enter. The number of trials, which was 20. Hit enter. And the probability, which was 0 0.5. So this is the probability of success. Hit enter. And then you hit enter one more time, and then you get the probability 
equal to what we just solved, which is the 17.6%. So there you have it. That's the answer, 17.6%. This is for a fair coin. If we had a biased coin, either biased towards heads or biased towards tails, then we would adjust these probabilities accordingly here. Note that the probabilities have to add up to 1. So the probability of failure plus the probability of success have to sum up to 1. But I recommend just using the Casio calculator. It has that built-in binomial function that you can just input the three numbers and save you some more time on the exam. And you can use that time for more complicated questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.